Hello and welcome back to our video on Kara Knightley's top 10 movies. Kara Knightley is a British American who has made a name for herself in Hollywood with her stunning performances and beauty. She is known for her versatility and has played a variety of roles in her career. So, without further ado, let's take a look at Kara Knightley's top 10 movies. At number 10, starting off our list is the romantic comedy movie Love Actually, released in 2003 where Kiera played the role of Juliet. Her performance as a woman caught in a love triangle received critical acclaim. Peter and Juliet have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They've declared their marriage by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. You resisted the temptation for surprises. Number 9, The Imitation Game, released in 2014. In this biographical drama, Kara played the character of Joan Clark, a codebreaker. Her performance was praised for its emotional depth and sensitivity. I would have come. I would have testified. And what would you have said that I, uh, I wasn't a homosexual? Alan, this is serious. They could send you to jail. Oh. Damn it. Your hands, you're twitching. Next up at number eight is the science fiction drama Never Let Me Go, released in 2010, where Kara played the character of Ruth. Her performance as a woman who makes difficult choices in a dystopian world was highly appreciated. I know what you think, Kathy. I know you think that you and Tommy would have made a more natural couple. And you believe that there's a chance that Tommy and I will split up someday. And when we do, perhaps that will be your chance with Tommy. Number seven, Atonement, released in 2007. In this romantic drama, Kira played the character of Cecilia Tallis. Her performance received critical acclaim and earned her a nomination for the Academic Award for Best Actress. Should we sit down? Yes, of course. Next on our list at number 6 is the Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, released in 2003. In this adventure fantasy film, Kiera played the character of Elizabeth Swan. Film was a huge success and Kiera's performance was appreciated by audiences. Taken on captives. She's invoked the right of parlay with Captain Barbosa. I'm here to negotiate. You speak when spoken to. Number five on the list, The Duchess. Released in 2008, the historical drama, Kira played the character of Georgiana Cavendish, the Duchess of Devonshire. Her performance was highly praised and earned her a nomination for the Golden Globe Award for Best Actress. Number 4, Pride and Prejudice, released in 2005, Kiera's portrayal of Elizabeth Bennet in this romantic drama is one of her most iconic roles. Her performance was praised for bringing a fresh perspective to the beloved character. Mr. Dalty's home. That's the fellow. Very well stopped late. I have a hankering to see it. Oh no, let's not. What is so? I'd rather not. He's so... He's so... So what? He's so rich. Number 3, Anna Karenina. Released in 2012, in this historical romantic drama, Kiera played the character of Anna Karenina. Her performance was highly appreciated and earned her a nomination for the Golden Globe Award for Best Actress.
Number two, Bend It Like Beckham, released in 2002. Kira's breakthrough role came in the sports comedy drama Bend It Like Beckham, where she played the character of Jules Paxton. Her performance was praised for its energy and charisma. And finally, at number one, we have come to Kira's top performance in the romantic drama The Age of Love. Her performance as Vera Phillips received critical acclaim and cemented her status as one of the best actresses of her generation. Was it the money? Was that it? Was that all? Don't forget we grow it. <laughs> My money to keep your tame poet. Oh, I had better offers, richer offers. You? Have you looked at yourself? And that's our list of Kira Knightley's top 10 movies. With such a diverse range and performances, it's no wonder she has become one of the most sought-after actresses in Hollywood. Let us know in the comments which one of these performances was your favorite. Thank you for watching.